Okay, I don't know what's going on here because I've got this mini unit, mini split I'm working on and I can't get it to hold a vacuum for the life of me. I have had this thing with lines completely set all the way to the inside. Um, I've checked the flares, I've reflared it. I've checked the settings on um, torque. Everything's been right and it just won't hold a vacuum at all. And I'm not even talking a slow leak. I'm talking about when I get this vacuum set up on it, it goes all the way down to 25 or so when it's when it's on when the vacuum is actually on and then as soon as I as soon as I open or close this valve to try to get it to hold the vacuum it shoots right back to zero like immediately and I can't figure it out so the last the last thing I wanted to do was to try it with these things capped and just see if that does anything um, and so I got I got some caps to do it and oh, and also I can tell you that I've tested it with just the gauge too. So I've taken this blue, taken this blue connector and just attached it to the back of the gauge set, which is, you know, this little guy here. And that doesn't do anything. And then it'll hold a vacuum perfectly when I do that. So the gauge isn't busted. In other words, there's not a hole in the gauge. It's just, I've isolated it to this unit. There's something that it won't hold, it won't hold a vacuum between these two valves and I can't figure it out like I have no idea what's going on there so I'm trying to get some input from anybody that's worked on a mini split where you've seen a vacuum not hold to the point where you've reduced it all the way down to no lines set and capped run the vacuum on the capped lines and it still drops to zero it tells me there's something in the unit that's messed up or or something i don't know but looking for any input on that